you think a crown will give you power? Always give you power. You know the, the crazy dude who ate a dude? He's now having nightmares of voices in his head. You've no longer understood where reality is, but what the dream is. I'm like, uh, it's just a dream. Yeah, that's right, sure. It's probably fine. And I've, he's now paranoid. You're just, you're, just, you're just humming nonchalantly. It's fine. No need to be afraid. Uh, the dreams keep happening. Oh. The mental dude who's eating people. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's now having dreams of voices and shit. It, just keeps it sounds worse. pretty accurate to you, if I'm being fair. I haven't ate nobody. Not yet. <laughs> Be your wish, I'll be your fantasy. I'll be your hope, I'll be your luck, be everything that you need. A reason for living. This is some really uppity ass music for what's going on right now. <laughs> My guy is slowly descending into chaos and you're just singing. <laughs> there is something more powerful than you, impossible. More powerful than all the mortals of the world, locked and weakened. They want revenge, they want death. You saw them in your dreams, you saw their underground dungeons, you saw them, uh, you showed them in the prophecy, what turned Azeroth at the end of the blah, 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 blah. So your destiny, they want you to not resist destiny. You must fulfill the will of the old gods, and I can say I'm not their toy with a 67% chance of getting bleh. Or I obey I'm and become bleh. <laughs> of becoming bleh. I can become their slave, basically, or I can tell them to go fuck themselves. Sounds about right. Yeah, so tell them to go fuck themselves sounds for something I do. <laughs> hey, with thirty percent odds, I told them to go fuck themselves. So they didn't kill me, and I managed to get my wife pregnant at the age of ninety. <laughs> meh. What do you mean meh? Meh. What do you mean meh? Meh. I just spat in the face of gods and got my wife pregnant at the same time. And she's like, meh. <laughs> Christ. Remember, I told the, po the Pope to go fuck himself. Mm -hmm. I think I think telling the, the gods of death to go fuck themselves and then proceeding to fuck your wife is a bit more of an accomplishment than telling the Pope to go fuck yourself that one time. And you didn't, Maybe. Even, you didn't even tell the Pope to go fuck himself, you just didn't go on crusade that once. He basically told the Pope to go fuck himself. Mm hmm. <laughs> hmm. Alright, I'm just gonna, like, kind of record while you're here, because fuck it. That's a bad idea. Is it? <laughs> Why is that a bad idea? Mm, don't worry about it, you're fine. Alright, well. I'll smack you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's, that's just gonna be where the clip starts with you trying to smack me. <laughs> Alright, fucking Christ. I got a bunch of fucking idiots trying to rebel against my stuff. Both of whom are literally only in power because I gave them their crap. But they're, they're rude. Wait, so you gave them crap and they still hate you? They don't even hate me. They just like decided in their infinite wisdom that they are going to declare war on me. Hell, that one's married to one of my relatives. Ah, uh, they're probably gonna murder your relative. Hmm. Probably not. <laughs> Say probably not. It happened last time. Shh. <laughs> Is this the game where your character got his dick cut off? Yes, this is the game where my character is dick cut off. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> that is the solution to most wars, you mean? Most general issues, really. Is it? Mm-hmm. I mean... About, they can't cause problems if they're dead. Am I wrong? I have no argument for that. <laughs> I can haunt you. <laughs> I can do that. I wouldn't kill you. I never said you would. Hmm. 
Oh, how are you, how are you going to haunt me if you're if you're not dead? Who who's killing you? Uh. Do you know how many bad things have happened to me? <laughs> yes. There's your point. Hmm. I know a lot of bad things happen to you. You poo head. Alright. Mm -hmm. uh, right. like, one of these things is like, you've almost lost. And I was like, no, I haven't. Um, it's like a completely different thing. I don't know who that is. I have way too many relatives. I don't care what they're called anymore. <laughs> Goodbye. He did. He done pooped. Yeah, like, the entire Northern Alliance thing is rebelling. And, like, the King of Gilnaeus is revolting. Is what that is. Big oof. Mm hmm Biggest oof. Like, he's winning, kind of. I just don't care. I'm in the war, technically speaking, I joined them, but I don't particularly give a shit. I'm not sending men to help them. I'm there in spirit. Our enemy is dead. Oh, that's how it works. But he's dead, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, maybe if you had helped him, he wouldn't be dead. No, no, no. The guy rebelling is dead. Oh. Mm-hmm. Not so. See, I, I, they didn't even need me. It's fine. Why did he die? He was killed. Uh, no shit. Smart <laughs> <laughs> um, ass. He was. He died. He died in battle against some other dude. Gosh. Fuck. Mm. What? My desire to beat you has gotten stronger. Why? He died in battle against some other dude. What do, you, what do you want from me? Graphic Nothing. details on their fight. How'd he die? Killed? Oh, no, 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 no shit! <sighs> Why am I recording with you here again? Um... Because you can't get rid of me. True. <laughs> <laughs> my son died. Right, another Where'd one of son? my son dies. How many... It's your fault, I blame you. <laughs> How is it my fault? Your presence. Am I just bad luck? Mm -hmm. That would explain a few things, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm really gonna beat you. <laughs> my my grandson died. Look, look, bad luck. Look at it. It's cute, but it's bad luck. <laughs> I'm not editing the cute bit out. <laughs> <laughs> there, look, the war's over. You cost me two, the lives of two of my relatives. Oh, I didn't do anything! You cost me the lives of two of my relatives. You cost the lives of your own relative. I did nothing. You were a bad king. No, I was not. You were. Nope. Yes. <laughs> yep. Mm, nope. Mm, yep. The worst. Well, it's time to strip these guys of their titles because this is the like upteenth billion time that these guys have rebelled. <laughs> that is not what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> What do you think? I'm stripping their clothes. <laughs> you have rebelled against the crown. It is time to get kinky. <laughs> kind of kingdom do you think I'm running here? <laughs> I don't know. I will give it to one of my many spare sons. I say spare sons. April's killed this one. She's killed that one. She's killed this one. She's killed this one. She's killed that one. <laughs> 
Oh, for fuck's sake. I give it to this guy. Now, marry you to my granddaughter. And I give you the dominion of Brightwood. You will not betray me. You is not poo head. Alright, the other guy. You, I'm I'm gonna let you off. You've only ever rebelled once, so I'm I'm cool with you. The other guys have rebelled like twice now, and I don't give third uh, chances. Unless the person is particularly cute. I'll be here on a Friday night. I'm embracing my inner redneck. <laughs> I'll just put that in the video, shall I? <laughs> it's a good thing, you know. Hmm. To embrace your inner redneck. Is it? You draw the line of the incest. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Damn well you do. Or uh, what if you ask Joe? Incest is the best sex. <laughs> I think Joe has some serious problems that he needs to work on. <laughs> oh, you fucking horror! Thank you. I'm sorry, that <laughs> That was me fucking Oh you f mm. oh, camera. Lines why you this <laughs> I fixed it, it's fine. Demonetized. I think your videos are probably demonetized anyways. You just killed another one of my kids. <laughs> oh. Ah! Yeah, yeah. My wife just died. You just killed my wife as well. Stop killing my people. See, I wasn't even recording, and she killed one of my kids again. My grandson's now dead. Well done. I don't know how the hell King... Dalen the second inherited Shadowforge. But alright, whatever. Poohead? Poohead. Poo like, he died. And for some reason, my grandson didn't inherit. Like, my fucking other grandson inherited. Question mark? Mm -mm. It is fine. I think it's really shit. You have to add question mark at the end of everything that you question, or it doesn't work. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. I'm weird, what's your point? <laughs> I'm weird too, it's fine. Uh, as I lie sleeping in the courtyard, I don't know why I'm sleeping in the courtyard, I'm a king. I could, okay. You are suddenly awakened by a sound of hooves. You rise to see a man dismount and bow at you. He explains that he is the court physician of renowned skill and has left his home and travelled here from far land only to serve you. You've already made up your mind, though. That horse is magnificent! Come join me at court! <laughs> uh, I, I, I just let but Alright, so there's no option for me to do anything but invite his horse and make his horse the court physician. Because my character's nuts. So I make, ah! I make the the horse is now the uh, the court position. 
The horse is strong. It seems about right. Yeah, the horse is strong, attractive, but it's also an imbecile. <laughs> Same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know imbecile. I beg to differ. <laughs> yeah, there you go. The horse has now joined main court. His name is Horse, right. MD. <laughs> Why is your character complete? What did you do to him? I didn't do anything. The old gods did it. Remember the whispering and the everything? I told the old gods to go fuck themselves. Oh, yeah. Yeah, before I told them to go fuck themselves, they sort of royally screwed over my character. And made him a bit... <laughs> yeah, a bit, you know, loopy. A bit special. A bit special, yeah. He's special. I mean... You're honestly a bit special, so... <gasps> the hell? Rude. <laughs> Rude. How am I special? Um... Answer carefully. <laughs> you have voices in your head and don't even say. Uh, true, the demons do speak of to me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Point... Proven. Mm hmm. But you're special as well, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if they laugh and fuck them all. I'm waiting for one somebody to get sick in my court and the horse to be called in to heal. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Hooves, help us. Help us. They are popping out way too many kids. We're now at, like, 67 of them. Then, uh... Pull out, maybe? <laughs> yeah, apparently the all of my family's pull-out game is very shit. Probably another one of your family members. <laughs> uh, no, this dude died. This dude died in, the, in my dungeon. Ah, uh, right, that was the, um... That was the chap who rebelled against me. I forgot that he was in the dungeon. Oh. Yeah. He uh he left a sword. I has his sword. I can't use it because I'm not evil. I am. Mm-hmm. I give you sword. <laughs> There's something there that I can't say on camera. <laughs> All right, well, that's okay. I have that now. Ow! What? I hurt myself. <laughs> How'd you hurt yourself? I, I, like, punched my desk unintentionally. Why did you punch your desk? Up? I didn't mean to! That's what Unchantana means, poo head. Hmm. <laughs> You are special, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I have a chance to eat someone again. This one is my grandson and my future king. Oh, um, yeah, don't eat that person. Don't eat that person, yeah, agreed. We're not going to eat that person. <laughs> I draw the line at eating family. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would hope. <laughs> I don't give a shit about anybody else. Family is, yeah. That's, that's where I draw the line. <laughs> Everyone else is delicious, though. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> hmm. What? I'm wondering what troll tastes like. <laughs> Probably like a troll. Mm hmm. Tastes like chicken, I wonder. There's an option for Devour Imprisoned. This says, uh, is your prisoner and you can do as you please with him. Why not invite him to dinner? Honestly, any video I'm in, you're going to be demonetized. So, that being said... <laughs> so I'm screwed, is what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm saying. 
Oh, that's going to be a problem at some point, because I want their shit. So you want their shit? That's weird. <laughs> I want their stuff. You know somebody on the internet is going to take that seriously. Mm -hmm, which is why I would definitely edit out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> All there's going to be is you saying, you know someone on the internet's definitely going to take that seriously. And I'll be like, yeah. That's why I edited it. <laughs> This is why I edited it out. Edited. 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 Yes, English. <laughs> edited. 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 Out. Uh, I'm in the crossing the courtyard, barely taking notice of the children playing in the corner, because I have like 50 of them. Uh, and suddenly I spot a rock flying through the air. Am I in its trajectory? I cannot tell. My depth perception is not what it used to be. Attempt to catch the rock. I have a 60% chance of making a perfect, impressive catch. And 40% chance of it failing and hitting me in the head. <laughs> this is my four-year-old daughter throwing rocks. If my daughter kills me with a rock, I'm going to be very, very angry. Oh, for fuck's sake. I will actually die. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, good lord, that's too good. What? Oh, that's too good. That's fucking too good. Uh, Alright. I set my marine. Uh, there, blah, blah. I set my marine. My marine? Remaining? Remaining. Remaining. Ugh. I set my <laughs> Why can't I say that word? Uh, I set my remaining eye on the rock and raise my arm to catch it. But it seems as if I misjudged the distance. Before I can open my hand, the rock makes an impact with a blinding pain. Do you hate me, the light? My other eye. <laughs> My child has blinded me. Tip, keep in mind, I only had one eye. The other one was glass. She's now, t she's now completely blinded me. <laughs> of course she has. I'm now completely blind. Well, you fucked. I am severely injured, stressed, a lunatic, paranoid, and blind, <laughs> and a cannibal. <laughs> I know. I'm a, I'm a paladin, so I can actually heal myself. I didn't even need to heal myself. It healed itself by itself. I'm still blind, but... <laughs> that's, that's like, really got a scarlet kid mentally. <laughs> You're the idiot that tried to catch a rock. Hey! My guy has told old gods to go fuck himself. He's not afraid of no rock. Evidently, he probably should have been, because... They... Now he's blind. <laughs> Uh, so apparently this guy was, this guy was my rival. I didn't know he existed, but I'm going to apparently try to steal the head from his grave. Uh, apparently his missus doesn't like that very much. I would imagine. Mm -hmm. She threw me out of that house. I'm the High King of, like, the entire freaking Empire. Why does, how does she throw me out of my house? If I want her husband's skull as an on my mantelpiece, I'm taking it. The, uh, the incredibly inbred kid died. You killed a three-year-old child. How do you feel? <laughs> The, uh, the 121-year-old king, who's a lunatic, stressed, blind, I'll add, fought against his 22-year-old grandson <laughs> and naturally got his ass kicked. As you might expect of the incredibly old man with no eyes. He should have taken the old gods off her. <laughs> they wouldn't have ended up as a blind old dude. <laughs> He really needs to die so that I can play as a character that has eyes. My court physician, Horse MD, has suggested that I buy him some more equipment from his laboratory so that he can perform more advanced experiments. The horse has a, a requested that I buy him equipment. Hmm. <laughs> My court physician, Horse, has reluctantly let me know, apparently, because he can talk. I brought his laboratory was outright dangerous to use. If he had not noticed, maybe I would have informed. Yeah, okay. So he almost blew himself up, apparently. 
It is a horse, so this is oh, a bit surprising. Probably not the best move the king ever made, really. People just kind of choose to remember him as he was and not as what he has become. <laughs> the northern like kingdoms appear to be accepting like evil <laughs> just like straight up evil they've all turned to the legion Of course, there's not anything the freaking blind old king can do about that, because he's blind and old, so... <laughs> sort of out of my control for a while. Oh god. Who died this time? April? I died. Dead. One of my grandsons died under suspicious circumstances. He was eaten. <laughs> no, that's me. I have the only just realized that my kingdom is basically the last bastion of the holy light. Everywhere else is just fucking tainted. Same. You tainted it. They have the alliance has got like all of Kalimdor there. Yeah, one of my sons is the heir to the kingdom of Stronggard. Cool. Assuming that bitch dies. Make her die. Mm. Mm, I only got a thirty-seven percent chance of making her die. <laughs> Your luck is pretty shit. Mm, this is because she's miles away, miles away and my king is blind. <laughs> and really, 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 really old. And really insane. <laughs> and really insane, yeah. But don't worry, he has a horse physician, so... He's working on the cure of blindness as we speak. His hooves are busy at the task. Is that how blindness works? Uh, only horses can can cure blindness. Well, shit. Modern medicine has been doing it all wrong. Mm -hmm. That's because they don't listen to the horses. <laughs> no one listens to the damn horses, but they're like, I can, I can cure this human. And then they're like, nah, it's just a fucking horse. Uh, I see her flip parts at the corner of my eye, naked and red-haired. Who are redheads? The nymph who lives in the garden, always teasing me, never showing herself clearly. What must I do to win her heart? The magnificent rosebush, she must be its spirit. <laughs> you enter the rosebush, professing your love. And then the other option is, wait, why am I out here in my small clothes at this hour? 
which has a 10% chance to lose me the lunatic, but I'm kind of invested in the craziness that is this character at this point. Off to fuck the rosebush. <sighs> when I stagger out of the rosebush, hours had passed, my head filled with carnal but vague me uh, memories. I am bleeding all over from the cruel thorns. The voluptuous dryad has extracted her price. Will I ever see her again? A 20% chance of uh, scarred. Yeah, he just fucked a rosebush. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I have utterly no idea how this guy is still alive. P other people are dying around him at the age of like 60 and he's going on 125. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to subscribe, like, thumbs up, share, all that bollocks. And click that stupid little bell thing that notifies you of all my stuff. Alternatively, follow me on Twitter or join my Discord to keep up to date with all of my uploads. You'll find all the relative links in the description below. Thank you for watching. That's all for now. Soul out.